I might need to take the dog, so. It, sh <laughs> it shows you what you're filming. I'm going to uh, pick up the pace so I can turn around so you can get them coming towards you. Okay. What, so you want him to stop now? Yeah. You're going to go in the road, yes? No, I'm going to turn. And then if we want to, as well, if we can simply thread Cold. down. Sit. So look, he's completely relaxed. Down. And again. He's alright, he's just a bit insecure, so if he gets an obnoxious dog come flying over to him and you panic, that's going to travel straight down. What I'm showing you right now is your true dog. That with a bit of authority and that calmness, he can just relax, just take things in his stride, and he is definitely the most submissive man. Let's get <laughs> Just move Fred out of the way. Let these pass. <coughs> everything. But you see, because we've set him up from the start, teaching him how we want him to behave, we've not forced him into any situations, we've not been harsh to him, nothing like that. But what I have said is look, don't worry about Fred, don't worry about Maisie, don't worry about anything that's going on around you. As long as I've got this lead, as long as I'm with you, you just need to relax. Yeah. So the problem isn't with Han, it's with me, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and John, he's not getting off the hook. See, an aggressive dog couldn't be this close to another dog if he was truly aggressive. But like I said, I do think, obviously, you, you, you've openly admitted it, which I think is fantastic, but I think it's more that you are worried because you had that incident with him before where he got into a fight with another dog, that that stems to it. So every time he's in contact with another dog, you worry about how he's going to be. Getting you on our pack walks, I think, is the best thing for you. Just look at it. Pretty good, right? Good stuff. Right, I'm going to let you have a little go. Okay, so you're going to walk Fred and him. <laughs> Your face. I just going to get some water out for yeah. him. Right, we'll pass me that. Right. You, sure you, you don't want to go first. Right. Stop. Right, what, what, what we're going to do first of all, okay, is you're just going to take the lead and you're going to walk him. So you keep Fred for now. Me. Yeah. Or just walk him up, up Yeah, there. just walk him up and down. Just get into a little rhythm. Right, turn around. Nice. Such a beautiful dog as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Fred. I'm going to walk quick, yeah? 
and then I'm just going to hand you over Fred. Okay. So, there we go, Fred, quickly. Fred. Yeah, got Fred, so just keep walking. I've got Fred with me now. Do. Put your camera in. And you're just going to take Fred's lead and just walk. You've got two dogs, so what you need to do now is display that authority. So if he tries to come over to say hello to Fred, you're going to say no and you're going to bring him back to his side. If Fred tries to cut across you, same thing because Fred's a trained dog. But even a trained dog, if it senses a bit of nervous energy, yeah. it can instantly start to take over. So you just saw Fred with me, I had him down, he weren't moving. But like I said, go right, left, sorry. Just go with the flow, we'll just keep moving. How'd you feel? I feel fine. Yeah? But only because I previously saw it, seen you. And yeah, well, again, I'm, I've got faith in Fred. Yeah. But you need to see that. You also need to see your dog behaving in a nice light. Because ever since I picked up that lead and walked out the house, he's not so much as grumbled about anything. So just turn around, so just turn into Fred, just bring them both around, that's it, like that, excellent. But in order for him to feel relaxed around other dogs, you need to feel relaxed when you've got him around other dogs. Yeah. Because the reality is, you're obviously a dog lover, that's why you've got a Newfoundland, that's why you've got a Malamute, and I assume you like to see other people's dogs and say hello to them, things oh, like yeah. that. Yeah, but what happens when you've got a dog that's reacted in the past all of a sudden yeah yeah all of a sudden what happens is you start to every time you see a dog you start behaving like a dog lover and you start getting tense and things like that does that make sense to you yeah. so he's gone from being curious about dogs so when he's with you and i'm not sure what he's like with him but well, yeah john needs to have a go at this as well okay just keep walking John's going to have a go with Maisie. Exactly. Nothing like Fred. Maisie's will be better because she's a girl. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh no, he's much better with girl dogs. Yeah, well you're walking in a male Malamute and a male Rottweiler. So that's pretty cool. Right, let's stop. Let's get the dog some water. Needs me. I'll not drop my phone. Right, I need Maisie. Maisie? Right he does check in a lot. Obviously, he gets concerned when one of you's left behind. Yeah. So we've got Maisie. Maisie, Maisie can be insecure, particularly around big dogs you don't know. So yeah. that'll be more of a challenge. Come on, That's the bird poop. Come on, Right, do you want to turn around? That's it. And just walk past me, first of all. Just step into the road a little bit. Keep yourself in the way. Look, look the way. Thank you. Oh, that, that was nice. Cool. That was awesome. Got a cat to you, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it's gone. Right, so, Michael Moo Moo here, yep. if you get nervous, she'll feed off that straight away. Right. Okay? So, to help my girl Moo Moo stay nice and relaxed, what you're going to do is you're going to stay nice and relaxed. Yep. So, with your right hand, you're just going to take the lead and just walk. Okay? So, in order to keep her nice and relaxed, you have to stay nice and relaxed. And it works the same for your dog as well. And now you're walking two dogs. And he's only just briefly seen Maisie that first time when we went to see what he was like at the start. Turn around. That's the way you choose. That's it. Remember, keep, keep, keep that's it. Well, you'd be better off is shortening up his lead. Because he's got so much lead, it's so hard for you to navigate right. when you're turning and things like that. So it's about having a short lead, but relaxed. Okay, don't let, don't let me pull you around. She's a trained dog as well. But again, if she doesn't sense authority, right. she'll take over. She'll go, well, no one's telling me what to do now. So I'm oh, going to walk off. That's it. Right, yeah. I think she's in the car, though. No, 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 just... No, they've already been okay. on that. Come on. Oh, Before come we come here, they were running around like a garden having a whale of a time with my dogs. Oh. Come on, Maybe, come on. We'll just stop a second. Yeah. How do you feel? Too much in the dirt. Yeah. Well, on, on mazes or house? Both. Both. Yeah, she 
she doesn't yeah, talk to people. She's not, if she's doing. Stop and just make him sit. Sit. How? Sit. Maisie, sit. There you go, that's one of them. How? Sit. That's it, and then there you go. It's pretty good, isn't it?